Tough times for those countering terrorism in Europe as the so-called Islamic State changes its strategy. From Iraq and Syria, the war now moving to the EU. The number of young radicalized people is increasing and some foreign fighters are returning. Olivier's son was 23 when he left Belgium for Syria, where he later died. For those who come back to Europe, Olivier says there needs to be reintegration programs. It's delicate, he says, because we're afraid because of the Brussels attacks to take back people who are potentially dangerous. I bring the example of my son. If my son was still alive, what would I have done? I would have tried to help by all means. According to official figures, around 30% of foreign fighters who left Europe have returned. 119 of those are in Belgium. For security forces, it's a new phenomenon to deal with, but investigators insist they are prepared. We are ready to coming back, so to, to react on that and to, to, to have a prevention. Let's say, if they're coming by plane, we, we are aware. If they're coming by feet, let's say from Syria, it's difficult. If, it, if they cross the border, so we won't see it. But normally, so we, we have our traces, we we're checking out this information and, and, and then we're working on that. So I don't think the threats, we're working on that, but never say never. But facing these new challenges of the fight against terrorism seems to be hard for Belgium, where in addition to the difficult exchanges of information with the intelligence of other countries, there is also a lack of coordination between the internal security services as denounced by the unions of the federal police. Striking police say they're struggling to follow all leads, claiming they're 5,000 officers short of what they need. The National Security Plan is not fully staffed, he says. This has an impact on the management of information. We're afraid about missing information coming from all European countries and that's available on the information crossroads because of a lack of staff. <laughs> One year on after the Brussels attacks, it appears Belgium is still struggling to keep up with the ever-changing security threats.